going on guys? Eddie Martinez here with the Recording Connection and welcome to your additional supplemental video for lesson number eight. This one's all about mic placement techniques. I know in the last video we actually covered a lot of details on uh, mic placement techniques and types of microphones to use and things like that. So what this is going to be is just some additional techniques to use. So let's go ahead and get started. So this first miking technique that I like to share with you is something called space pair. Okay, so space pair miking is actually exactly what the name implies. It's two cardio microphones that are placed apart from each other to produce two different recordings of the same instrument. Now what I suggest is trying to place these microphones on different places of the instrument that produces different tonalities. So for example, what I like to suggest is if you are recording an acoustic guitar, you could always consider placing a microphone near the sound hole while you get another microphone and you place that in another area of the guitar that produces a different type of tone. So you can blend these two tones together or maybe mix one to the left side and one to the right side. Now the next technique I'd like to share with you is something called a Blumlin pair. Now this is much like the XY technique with one variation. You use two bi-directional microphones at 90 degree angles. Now the result that you'll actually get is that one microphone will pick up the front left and back right of the room while the other picks up the front right and back left of the room. Now this technique is usually best if you have a nice sounding room to record in. Now this next technique that I'd like to share with you is the ORTF technique. So this is actually a binaural mic technique, which means that it's meant to approximate the response of your two ears. With this technique, you'll actually need two cardio mics that are placed at an angle of 110 degrees with the heads at least 17 centimeters or seven inches apart. Now the beauty of this technique is that the mic placement can be as simple as moving around the room until it sounds good and then placing the mic exactly where your head was. So you kind of get the simulation that you were in the room as it was actually being recorded. And then the final technique I'd like to share with you is something called the Deca Tree. Now the Deca Tree is used mainly for recording orchestras and large ensembles. It was developed in the 1950s by engineers at Deca Records. The Deca Tree uses a special T-shaped mic stand suspended above the conductor's head. On the T-shaped stand, there are actually three cardio microphones facing left, right, and center which are then panned to match their configuration. Now there's actually no fixed measurements for the distance between the microphones, but the standard seems to be around five to seven feet apart. And for the most part, mics are usually placed closer together for smaller orchestras and further apart for larger ones. So those are some additional miking techniques that I hope you guys take part of. All right guys, that's all the information that I have for you today, but of course it's up to you to put this knowledge to use. Now don't forget to jump back into your Recording Connection workbook and just double check to see if you have any mandatory supplemental reading assignments to turn in for this week. Now if you feel shaky on any of this material, what you need to do is go back into your provided textbook and reread that material. Just remember that these videos are only a supplement to your education. Okay? Now if you're watching this video online and you want to know more about the recording process, uh, and you want to learn how to become a recording engineer in just six months, what you need to do is you need to check out the recordingconnection.com or call the provided number. Our staff is actually going to set you up with an engineer in your town or in a town near you. We have tons of locations all across the U.S. and parts of Canada, and we're actually really proud to say that we have more than a 72% higher success rate thanks to our student advisor that comes with your enrollment. So hope you guys all enjoyed the video, and I'll catch you guys a little bit later.